Clockwork Tangerine sounds like a sequel to Stanley Kubrick's film A Clockwork Orange, but it's not. It's a beer from the Brewdog stable. See me walking around. It's beer o'clock again, and we have Brewdog's latest offering with a Clockwork Tangerine, four and a half percent. Um, they call it a Citrus Session IPA. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. This um, it's a nice big bottle as well. Uh, so here we go. Um, I think it says what it what it is on the label. To be honest, it's going to be an IPA. It's going to be very very citrusy, um, and obviously there's tangerine in this. Um, so let's crack it open and let's give it a give it a whirl, eh? So let's uh, pull this out. There we go. Got a nice one and a half finger head on the top. It's a lovely, lovely pale uh, coloured IPA this. Oh. 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 oh, this is citrusy. This is oh, it's punching the citrus notes out. Yes, yes, it's, it's definitely um, yeah, very uh, tangerine. I'm smelling hints of lemon, lime, uh, grapefruit, um, that sort of thing. But this is very, very citrusy. Oh, yes, wow. It's initially sweet on the lips. And then it hits you with this dryness. It's, it's like... Tangerine peel, grapefruit peel, anything, the, the, the zestiness, but there's a sweetness to the zestiness. It's not... not Overly sharp. It's 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 dry but sweet. Very very good. It doesn't like some of these ones with with the citrus in. It tends to like squeeze your cheeks in when it when when you've got a map. You know it's, the, the citrus really sort of squeezes your, your your cheeks in. But this one no. Very very nice. Um, this is a seasonal summer beer by Brewdog, and you can see why this is a seasonal summer beer. Um, that's why I'm, 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 I'm reviewing it today, because it's been a lovely day um, down in Essex. And, uh, you know, this is the sort of beers you want to start looking at getting and putting in your fridge and that, ready for you know, summer barbecues, that sort of thing. This would be wonderful with seafood, seafood pasta. Um, anything fishy, this would be a really good pairing of a beer. You know, if you've got half, half a pint of shell on prawns, some bread, and a blood glass of this, you know, you would, uh, you'd have a lovely evening, you know, a bit of bread and butter, and, uh, yeah, you'd be a nice fresh uh, bread and butter, your shell on prawns, you could sit there supping this, unshilling your prawns and eating them. You'd have a, you know, a fantastic supper. This would go very well with sea bass. This is also a beer that women would like. Um, because of the this tangerine, this fruitiness, um, this citrus punch that it's got to it. And it's not a citrus punch that has to develop um, on your palate. It's it's there from the off. As soon as you put it into your mouth, you got that. You got this 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 tangerine citrus there, and women are going to like it. Um, they, this is definitely a very very good beer.
for women. Um, you know, instead of having a Pinot Grigio or whatever, have a glass of this. Damn sight cheaper. Um, but no, it's really, really good. This is a really, yes again, a really, really good beer from the Brewdog stable. You know, I'm yet to find a rubbish one from Brewdog. I'm, you know, I'd love to find a rubbish beer that they do, but I can't find one yet. I suppose the only one I'm going to find that's rubbish is the one with no alcohol in, you know, but, uh, you know, that, that ain't going to even go past my lips. So, yet again, Brewdog, a very, very good beer. Um, you know, I can't praise this up enough. Um, and like always, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit a big, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment, um, and that's about it really. Uh, as I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching, good night.